Well, I already know that she's doing a fantastic job because look mm -hmm. at all these beautiful girls. You see, this is this is another thing too. You want to try to work from the side, uh huh, always. Um, Did you? The I grabbed a hold of this. Yeah. Oh, and it's hot. And I would move this out of your way too. See, you guys have even got it bumped Elevated. up here. We don't need that. No. Okay. Um. Most, most, most things do not have anything solid underneath them. Nice. It won't hurt anybody. Okay, so when you pull that end up, uh -huh. grab it with your with your left hand. Well, I'm left-handed. I know that, but grab your Yes. You've got to learn to be ambidextrous with this jaw. Now take your hive, yeah, hive tool and lift up some. Unless you can walk over and pick it up. And that's one of the reasons why. But see what I'm saying? You only want to get out so far. And then grab and it. And then lean it up against the other one and the wall. Uh-huh. And grab it. Oh, with okay, your hand. okay. Okay. Woo. Okay, so sand in here, she's got honey, she's got pollen here, and honey that hasn't been tapped. And I'm not seeing any brood right off hand that's not already capped. Oh, turn it towards me a little bit more. No. Oh, this. Okay, now turn it up. Yeah, like that. See there, that's that's a brood that hasn't been capped yet. Let me show you. I don't want to grab one and hurt her. Okay, see in here, you see yeah. that larva in there? Okay. That's a brood that has not been capped like this. Once they get it to a certain age, they'll cap it over and then she'll finish growing, and when she's when she's um, ready, she'll come out. But what we want to do is lean this so that we can really look and see if we can't find a queen. I don't see her on this at all. Are they uh, so crowded that we need to add extra an extra super? Um. Cause they look crowded. But they are solid in here. Well, in in um okay, girls, get over. Um you have a lot of bees here. Yeah. A lot of bees. And if if mm -hmm. I were you, I would split this time in half. Really? Yes. And I'll tell you why. So I need to get a queen. Not one you can pick up. I would shake those down unless you want to look for her for sure. So we know she's doing her business. And oh yeah, she's she's got a healthy hive here. Okay, she's got a really healthy hive here. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of brood. A lot of brood going on. Not all of them capped yet, but you also have queen cells queen starting. Cell. Do I need to break those. Here's the um, tool if you want to. Yep, 
see there. That's roll honey in there. Okay, let's turn it over and look at the other side. Now you know the difference between drones and worker bees, right? Uh, drones are larger, mm -hmm. and the worker bees are smaller. Yep. See, that's a drone. Right now, he can't sting. He doesn't sting, right? He can't sting you at all. But the workers can. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another. Is that another drone up there? He's big. Up in the top right hand corner. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And how you can tell her is she's going to be long and she you're not gonna see a lot of fuzz on her. Right. She's gonna have a shiny fat tail. Now these uh are these um uh, these are drone cones. How can you tell the difference with the drone cones? Um, these because I think we were popping drones because uh they don't have an opening. And they're not really elongated. Okay. Um, um, the one that I I I cleaned off and the it beginning. The world jelly in it. Yeah. Um, I think those were drones. Okay. But the one that I pulled off that didn't have anything in yet, it looked like the starting of a. Um, see that one emerging? Yeah. Oh Isn't yeah. Isn't that cool? That little bee is coming out to make her first debut. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I'd put that one towards this way. There's a lot of bees. Yeah, there's a lot of bees in this hive. That's why I'm saying I would split it in half and give yourself another hive. What you doing? I'm trying to get them out of my way here. Oh, they'll move. Let me, let me get a smoker. Okay. Because they're piled up on the... Okay. Wrong move. Anybody. And because you're left-handed, I would Start with this end. I would lift this this one. Okay, so she is definitely laying beautifully. There's a lot of uh, uh, bees emerging right now too. That that is really really awesome. Um, if you had a queen today, we would split this hive. We definitely would. Put it down in there. How thick it is. And that's a good thing. would split number one you've got a super that's um, that's got enough honey to split in half uh -huh. because it's not fully capped you've got enough brood 
to take frames from that one and put it in this one and so forth. And then you just have perfect amount for everything. So it's the ones that look like, is this, this is a, that's a drum. Where he's blew away. This one. Yeah. That's a drum. Okay. There's another one emerging. Look right there. It's heads out. Yes. That's drums. So we're going to get that. I want to get that on. Okay, this is another one emerging. You're helping me. Yep, they are definitely helping me. I'm gonna take it over there tomorrow and see if you can get it on yours. See, you're solid brood. This is real. This queen's really doing a fantastic job. They're, they're on top of each other. They're so crowded, though. Yes. But that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's yeah. good because they're all they're doing healthy. their job. But it's a bad thing because... Um, there's a real chance that she may swarm. Shake them bees down off there. I don't want. We're not worried so much about seeing her. Uh, She's I here. Wanna see, I want to see if you've got any any um, queen cells started. They're usually long the outside. Long Sometimes there. they can be in the middle of the frame too. So, but they're much bigger and elongated. These are all are are um, and see how you can tell the difference. Right. They're kind this, of a flat. This is bubbled. Yeah. and bigger around yeah these are flatter these are worker bees that's a worker bee coming out of there so that's all good What's concerning to me too. What's um, that? We haven't found any a whole lot of open room. I think they don't have Where room. She's laying right now. Now this is the queen cell. There's that no long doubt, one. There's no doubt. This I believe. This I believe is a queen cell. So we're going to remove that because we don't want her to take off. These are drone cells. Okay. What about that one right there? Uh, yeah, that may be too. See how it's kind of like yeah, it's, it's too? different. It's, it's elongated more and it's crooked. It's not always... Uh... <laughs> yeah. 
Is there a place that you can get a queen before oh, you yes. leave? Oh, I, yeah, in Sparta. And, uh, which is 15, 20 minutes the other way. Do you want to try to do that? Yeah. Okay. So when you want to go back in again? We can do it tomorrow. Because that's her business. There's another queen cell. A couple there. Nothing on the bottom. Just look at that. I don't see her. There's another one there. Those are the queen cells. So yeah, they're telling you that they're ready to split. Yeah. And they're putting honey down here too, which is when we when we split them, we're gonna just take a little bit out of this one right. and Move put it. it with a new queen and not put a super on it. Okay. Okay. And we'll just take that super and put it on there. And then when she's built up enough over there, then you can move move them up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <coughs> All right. This is the last one. And I'm not a professional, so oh, this no. is only what I would do with you mine. You definitely know I'm not. I have not seen her yet. I wonder if she's on the other side or on the bottom. Or she's down below. She could be on that wall right there, too. Because yeah. when they see you coming, they, they, they tend, tend to go away from where you're looking. Right there. Oh, yeah. I thought that was something. And see, I don't have, I don't have enough strength to uh, pick that bottom up. I, I don't have enough strength. Um, to shake that high I, like you do. Well, you can tell I don't have a lot of strength. That's why I would put it down further. Because mm -hmm. this is more built for like your husband who's yeah. much taller. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't see I don't see her, but we know she's here. Definitely know she's here. Nice. And you no, know, push them all back where they were at. All the way back over. Okay, now they're trying to tag me. And they're not they're not stinging me, they're bumping me to tell me to get out of their business. <laughs> They're like that one needs to go over further. That's right, they'll they'll, they'll kick her they'll out kick of the bottom. That's why the in the top, the reason why they didn't kick those girls out on the top that I found dead uh -huh. is because they were underneath the they were squished. Yeah. And that happens. Everybody's all freaking out about Squishing them and stuff well, like that. You get yes. that many. There's no way you can <coughs> miss one. Well, it's kind of impossible. You can't tell moving. her don't move underneath. Right. My they're lid. moving constantly. Come on, girls.
Okay, no. Look, I got one more. Let's this see. one here, my love. Shake that off before you try to put it in. And then when that happens, you just walk away for a minute. Let them regroup. Where's your hive tool? Uh, it's on that jar. Okay. tell you you'll be super happy if this works out you'll be very happy that you split this up because when it comes time you're going to have so many more um, so much more honey and so many more bees yes and it's not even i know i know you pretty well it don't put that on there yet we got to smoke, smoke them and get them off of the edges Anytime you go to put something on or something you want to smoke them girls and get them off the edges as possible. And what I do is I take it and I move it, come back a little bit, and slide it, slide it over top and just slide it on. They'll move out of your way. If you don't do it too fast, they'll be able to get out of your way. And if you keep it down flat on there, then you don't have any issues. Okay. Let's get this back on here. Before they all start lighting. And the reason why we could set that straight on there is because there were no bees on it yet. We hope. Hey, my... I didn't see any bees laying up there. Hopefully, I didn't miss them. But yeah, that goes on. Same thing. Um, is that? This is the top. But does it? It goes up that way or that way? It goes this way. Okay. And are you going to leave that out? I'm going to put this back in, but I'm going to brush it off. Do you have? Do you have a screen bottom? Uh, yeah, there I is. would definitely put that back in because you're going to get another screen. cold front. Here is a screen. You're, you're going to get another cold front. So, um, it will it will be good for it now, but during the summer, take that out of there. What? Oh, during the summer, take this out? Yeah. You're yeah. not going to put it the other way? Well, it doesn't, it, it's the same both ways. I was going to see what drops on here before okay. I come back. Okay. Cool. The dummy thing. What, what happened? I didn't get stung, but... You got square? No. I got stung. Uh-oh. I didn't get stung by a bee, but I got stung by her stinger. Uh-oh. Because it was on this thing. Oh, like a splinter. Yes. You got a, a bee stinger. And I can't get it to come out. Uh-oh.